Is nuclear power making a comeback? It sure looks that way. In the past few months, a lot has happened. The United States is restarting old reactors. Countries that had phased out nuclear energy are changing course. Even in Germany, where nuclear power was all but dead and buried, there's talk of bringing it back. Or is there? Let's have a look. Americans are trying to bring back to life a nuclear power plant near Lake Michigan that was closed down in 2022. Another candidate for revival is the famous Three Mile Island Unit 1 in Pennsylvania. It was shut down in 2019, but now Microsoft wants to use it to power its data centers. And the energy company Nextera is exploring a restart of a nuclear power plant in Iowa, which shut down in 2020. Italy, which shut down its last Last reactor in 1990 is planning a return. In February 2025, the government approved a law to relaunch nuclear energy. Poland, which currently doesn't have any nuclear power plants, is building new ones and says that the first unit will come online in 2036. In March 2025, the Swedish government proposed a financing model to support four new nuclear reactors. They're aiming at 10 new ones by 2045. Even in in Germany, the Conservative Party, which now holds the biggest number of seats in the parliament, is looking into whether some of the nuclear power plants can be restarted. A nuclear lobby group called Radiant Energy has claimed that there are two nuclear power plants in Germany that can be restarted within one to three years at less than one billion of cost and eight more that could go back online within four to eight years. This all sounds pretty good. But the nuclear power plant in Michigan is a good example for the difficulties with the nuclear renaissance. This power plant was built in the 1970s. Here is how this looks inside. The restart project is backed by more than $3 billion in governmental loans and it's not going all that well. Some parts of the steam generators are badly damaged and need to be repaired, which will likely make it more expensive. The costs to restart Three Mile Island have similarly been estimated to be $1.6 billion at least. It ain't cheap. And despite what the nuclear lobby says about the possibility of restarting German nuclear power plants, the companies which own them are just not interested. Nadja Jacobi, the CEO of the German energy company E.ON, said there is no economically sensible way of bringing the power plants back. The CEO of RWE, Markus Kreber said that the time for their nuclear power plants is over. The CEO of NBV simply thinks that a restart of their nuclear power plants is impossible and the CEO of Vattenfall just said it's not going to happen. Even if they were interested in doing it, Putting power into the grid from a nuclear power plant in Germany would require a change of law. And that's very unlikely to happen unless the Labour Party stops opposing nuclear power. They eventually will, because they're not idiots. They just need to find a way to do it gracefully without admitting they have been idiots. But it'll take time. And bringing old nuclear power plants back online isn't the great investment that it seems to be. Because, you know, these plants are old. We have better technologies now that are safer, more efficient and will have a longer lifetime. We should be building new ones. And we know it's totally possible to build a nuclear power plant in five years because the Japanese and Koreans are doing it. But regulation procedures make that process very slow in the Western world. So I think what needs to happen is a serious rethink of the bureaucratic burden that takes into account how much safer nuclear technology has become. What about costs? It's true that nuclear power plants are expensive compared to, say, gas plants. But the good thing about nuclear power is that we know it works and it'll get us to net zero reliably. This means nuclear power could save a lot of investments into speculative technologies that are nowhere near ready to go on the market, like carbon capture, the hydrogen economy or all kinds of wild battery ideas. By all means, invest in the research. But the safe strategy is nuclear power. It doesn't need a breakthrough, a miracle or a TED talk. It just needs a building permit. Last year, I coincidentally noticed that if you asked Google for my cell phone number, it gave you an answer. 
Luckily, I changed my number three years ago, and the one that Google spat out was my old one, but that was somewhat of an eye-opener. I've since signed up to Incogni, who've been sponsoring this video. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. If you then sign up for a website and fill in your personal details, they can and often do make money by selling your private information to data brokers. Most countries have laws against that and you can ask for your data to be removed but doing this takes up a lot of time. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those databases. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners, request that your personal details be removed, and they'll keep on doing that. And if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for, and they go to work, like within a minute, basically. I now sleep better at night, and maybe I can help you sleep better too. If you use our code Zabina or the custom link in the info below, you'll get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.